Good morning, we're so happy that you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. James and I just had some peanut butter toast. So excited for the next episode of Bluey. Um, and yeah, we're having a chili cook off today, so I gotta get to cooking. Yesterday in the Hundred Acre Woods. It's very, very windy today. It actually was raining when I first started my run. I was getting six miles in. The runs are a bit rough because I haven't been running in the past couple weeks, but gotta get back to it. Don't be gonna be here before we know it. Congrats on everybody who was running the 10K today. You guys, all my friends that you guys know who are down there, I love you guys. It looked like a great race today. I can't wait to tra track all you guys tomorrow morning during the half marathon. I wish I was down there with you guys so bad, but we have a fun day planned today. Productive morning, family party in the evening, chili cook off. Will Sarah win? Yeah, of course she's gonna win. She's the best. His name is Teddy, and he's here to say, I wanna go to Disney in an obsessive way. Bom, 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 bom. Bom, 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 bom. Teddy, single Single digit countdown, baby. Single digit. Oh no. Oh, my on. Popping teeth left and right. Popping teeth left and right. Evie, those are James's treats, not your treats. Nap time is going on in there. Laundry is going on in here. We still need to finish Christmas. It's more so like putting things like where they gotta live, like fragiles. Somewhat packing for Florida, somewhat always doing laundry. I got I got two sous chefs today. One and two. <laughs> Hi Evie. And I'm gonna be making our chili. I meant to make it last night because I feel like, you know what they say, like chili tastes better the second day, um, but that just didn't happen. So it's noon, um, the party's at five, so we have plenty of time for it to cook nice and long. Um, and maybe sit for a little to just get all those good flavors. Here is my strategy. I am, sorry if the dishwasher is a little bit loud. Um, I am going to go off of my mom's recipe, which I'll show because that's kind of like the family recipe. But I'm gonna add little pluses, in my opinion at least, so that it tastes enough like the family recipe where people vote for it because we like what we like but just that little bit of extra yumminess to make it stand out and have even more people vote for it. Um, I'm kind of nervous, like I really want to win. <laughs> um, so yeah, the biggest difference is that, wow, the biggest difference in this recipe is it's going to be plant-based and I'm going to use impossible meat and the soy chorizo, the soy chorizo is a little plus, the impossible meat will taste like ground beef. Um, which is like what our family typically uses and honestly impossible beef does a really good job at at mimicking that flavor. I just got freaked out because I thought James was like really crying hard, but it was somebody outside 
Um, so I turned on the monitor in the room to make sure. Um, but okay, yeah, so that's my strategy. Biggest difference, it'll be plant-based. But that soy chorizo will give it that little extra kick. As well as some fire roasted tomatoes and uh, I don't know what else. I just realized though that when Peter went shopping for last minute stuff last night, I did not put chili powder. And that was, I ran out of it if you watched the last, the Halloween vlog. Gosh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to think of something. I am not going to do another chili cook with me, just did one on Halloween. So pause on that, that last clip for the ingredients and then this is how I, I wrote down, um, the directions. So this is this is special to me. My mom definitely talked me through this um, when I first got married or something like that. So this is our family our family recipe. Will it be award winning? I don't know. It tastes pretty good to me, but I think I think I accomplished my goal. We'll just have to see if anybody votes for it. Now it's this little this little one's turn to nap. More Christmas decorations are beginning. Got a Santa cookie jar. We're gonna bust out. We're gonna retire the Pepsi for the season. We have a giant Pepsi. Like soda fountain. Cookie jar. I'm sweating. Sure. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do for the table. Do you want to do tablecloth? Do you want to do table runner? I think runner because the cloth will get dirty. Yeah. Consistently. Yeah, I we'll think we. I, I may not be normal, but we've got little kids now, so I think we table runner, but position in the back third. I gonna, I gonna eat you for dinner. I gonna eat you for dinner. <laughs> I'm gonna eat you for dinner. I'm gonna eat you for dinner. You think I'm funny? Is it weird that dad's back here with you? Daddy. <laughs> what are you doing over there? What? You got something to say to me? It's pretty spacious back here. I feel like I don't appreciate this space back here enough. So I ran into Target to grab a few last minute things before we head on to the Dan Ryan. Do you guys know the Dan Ryan's named after Sarah's family? Sarah's maiden name is Sarah Ryan. It's like a great uncle or something that was Dan Ryan. Hey, hey you. I think it was the last vlog we showed us driving on Lakeshore Drive, which was, couldn't have been, you know, was probably like 10 days ago. Now it looks like winter, doesn't it? A little bit of leaves left. But Chicago is quickly approaching winterization. Even the city pulled out all their plants out of the center. All right, we're at Sarah's cousin Matt's. Yes. Chili cook off tonight. I'm gonna win. Sarah's gonna win. It's gonna be fun. In it. We're having a fire and James is quite interested. Kick it! Kick it! Did it work? <laughs> James likes to pick up the soccer ball, throw it, and kick it. And Lucas just running laps. <laughs> I think both are going to sleep good tonight. We have found a piano, so we may be set for no! that. <laughs> and Poppy woke up from a nap. There's a Poppy Sue. Oh, it's a teddy bear. Mid family party check in. Voting has commenced. Sarah's going to win. I have a secret illegal campaign against her coded number. 
and Teddy, we came out to grab the carrier so Teddy can go in there and hopefully fall asleep because I'm tired. Yeah. <laughs> we are home. We had one baby asleep and almost a second baby asleep. We almost had both kids asleep by 9, 10 p.m. On a Saturday night, that would have been crazy. And my chili did not win. What place did I get? Fifth? Third or fourth, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. But there was like... No, so it was fourth or fifth because there was a two-way tie for second. Yeah, so you and there were, was like you ten. Were fourth or fifth. I, I think it was well received. Yeah, it just didn't. Sure. It just didn't win. But it was good. James ate so much chili. I ate so much chili. Peter really didn't eat much chili. No, I need to eat food like right now. Oh, we hungry. brought we brought home desserts. I need like sweet. I mean, I mean savory. Like chips. And my patty. Teddy hung out with me a lot at the party. Uh, uh. Hello guys. Hello guys. Oh, why are you grabbing my face? If she's coming after you. <laughs> Jamesy got. Jamesy opened up some. Chris. No. Jamesy opened. <laughs> Jamesy opened up some birthday presents. This bluey um, garbage truck. I cannot talk. <laughs> From his cousins, his Auntie Jenna got him more bluey jammies and markers and Baby Yoda jammies and a Grinch. Do you guys know that we leave on the Fairly Odd Parents for Eve to watch while, while we're gone? Evie, good morning. Look at this cute little girl who just sat next to me. We did not sign off last night. It's gonna be a two-parter. Let's start. Let's start our Sunday, friends. We're we're tired. It's Jamesy's birthday that never ends. He got all these markers from his auntie Jenna. He's in his new bluey jammies. We're watching the Grinch. <laughs> Look at this silly girl. Good early morning. We're so glad you're here with Daily Vlogs. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back every day. I actually don't know if they're intro or not, but I did just in case we need it. So I am out doing my long run on this Sunday. Saturday. It's Sunday, 10 miles. I'm at mile four right now. I got one more mile and then I'm gonna turn around and go home. Um, feeling good. It was really cold at first and I think I have too many layers on now, but huge shout out to all the runners who completed or attempted the Wine and Dine Run Disney Weekend. A special shout out to my friends Earhart's Ben, ran all three races, his first Run Disney events that he participated in, first challenge, first half, first everything. So congrats, Benny, you did great. Carolyn, Steve, all my other friends who ran, like, eh, he did all right, but Ben's the rock star this weekend. Time to get these miles done, right? This calm, calm, Sunday morning here in Chicago. It's crazy to think how these, how calm these waves are right now compared to yesterday because they were insane yesterday. I saw like 30 foot splash ups. I got just about a 5k left. In the words of the amazing Jim Ryan, let's go for a quick 5k. And this 5k is dedicated, dedicated to Katie Petras who just demolished Wine and Dine Half Marathon Run Disney Weekend. So proud of you. And she dedicated our her mile 10 to us and brought up the quick 5k. So thank you, Katie. Thank you, Megan. You guys are the best. Now I gotta go home. I gotta get to the start of our day. I just had to point out, I know it should be running. How beautiful is that skyline? How beautiful, we basically live on an ocean. It's basically the world's best city in general, but also on an ocean. But an ocean that's not gonna eat me. Full of creepy things. I'm sure it's full of creepy things, but not like an ocean. I don't know, this is digressing. I gotta I gotta get back to running. We are en route to the south side and James has denied PB and J sandwich 
and garlic, like flatbread chips. And oh, just once, damn. Jay's hot chips. His hands are his hands are the hands of an artiste. And this is his preference, which is like my dad's signature chip, so it only fits. Alright, we're off to Home Depot to get the last few supplies for the basement. Look who came with me. Luca. James is still sleeping, so I brought Luca with. Wanna to go to the store? Wait until he sees this. <laughs> oh, you see the Grinch? Whoa, you gotta stay in. The kids haven't realized that if you come with Uncle P to the store, you always get a little something, something. You know what I mean? So all we gotta do is pick up these right turns. I think I told you about it a couple blogs ago in some PVC cement um, to properly fix their ejector pump pipe. We kind of had a band-aid fix that we're gonna make permanent today. When you wake up completely somewhere else, <gasps> you hear the kids? We made it far. We made it about 10 feet. Oh, you wanna lay and play the piano for that Frozen book? We got cousins now. We got dolls, we got Flynn Rider, the, the ultimate Cinderella set with the stepsisters. Starting a great movie before Christina realizes because Christina is not about Christmas movies this early. But if she's not down here, who's gonna stop her? Yeah. Bandit! Oh, biscuits. <laughs> The time day when you're yeah. chasing after your cousin. <laughs> get him, get him, get him. Also, it's a sad day. I didn't vlog it yet, but we are retiring the bassinet for the bugaboo and we converted it to a seat because Teddy's a big kid. Oh, sorry. No. Get him, get him, get him. No. We are home, and I truly did not vlog enough today. I just didn't, but we were, for, we were in a full house. I don't know if you picked up on some of the clips. Um, our cousins, Emily and Abby, were also at Christina's today. Um, Grant was out of town, so that's why we were over there to just, you know, be with her and take on, take on three kids. Um, usually we're over there Sunday, but we were there like, all day and I know this is going to be a two-parter but I'm not so sure how much like we actually like talked um, so yeah I'll see when I edit it later but I wanted to ask you guys so we will be in Disney next week and so this week we'll be preparing for the trip is there anything specific that you're interested in knowing we have had a couple of questions about traveling with kids and packing like our backpack for the airplane is that something that you'd be interested in packing at all um, yeah just let me know in the comments below and then we'll kind of cater this week's um, content to that because we have a lot to get done and that's kind of what we'll be doing anyway so then if I can kind of like make make our videos a little bit more specific to your requests then I definitely will um, we're a little overwhelmed because like we're kind of starting the weekend off on like a more chaotic foot because we had have really not been home um but tomorrow i'm gonna get things like in line get our lists ready continue packing because i've really kind of started just like laying out piles um now yeah, we're like really excited it has felt like oh it's too early to pack for so long and now i'm like i need to pack um so our, our Disney vacation jitters are beginning. Peter also just ran to get us a late night snack to end the weekend, so I'll show you what he got. Peter's coat inspiration, Nick Miller. What'd you get? Pizza. Christmas off. 
good to be home. It's good to be home. <laughs> Good afternoon, we're so happy you're here. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, come back tomorrow! <laughs> Peekaboo! <laughs> Peekaboo! <gasps> Peekaboo! <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> what you doing? Got a case of the blues, the Monday blues, I guess. Yeah. Got no motivation. Let's turn this night around. Oh gosh, Evie just tripped. Bad omen. <laughs> Bad omen for the night. This kid's eating some chocolate. And this kid's getting a haircut. It's Saturday. Oh. <laughs> What's so wrong? Mommy's trying to put James down because he skipped his nap, so it's an early bed night. And Teddy's in his bouncer. But it's almost bedtime for him, too. Alright, so as you could maybe tell, because this is a try vlog, um, it was a busy weekend and I turned into like a, you know, a busy couple days there. And today was a really, you know, case of the Mondays kind of day. And Sarah and I talked about the other night doing something that we've actually never done before. Um, and it was pulling this hard drive out of our closet. And it worked out because our holiday bins were out. Um, and it was to look at the raw footage from our amazing highlight reel of our wedding. And why that's extra special now is because there's probably footage of Sarah's mom on there that we've never actually watched. Um, so Sarah doesn't know that I pulled it out yet earlier. But she's putting Teddy down now, and I think that's probably going to be um, a really nice way to turn our Monday around at the end of the night, is to watch our favorite day of the entire world, our wedding day, and also to look for footage of her mom, and just to like reminisce in that day, um, with both kids snoozing away, you know, the blessings of our life, we got Evie here, so I think... Uh, I just loaded it up, I looked at it, I like pulled it up to make sure it still works and that everything's there. And uh, it, there's a lot of footage. Um, but I think it's going to be fun. We got footage of Gigi. The airplay struggling, so I think you should just cozy up next to me and watch it on the computer. I said the the... the the goal is to find footage of your mom, but I forgot there'd be footage of Gigi on here too. Yeah. It's very special. Was that so much fun? It was so much fun. Put a couple of clips in there. Hi, Hi, How are you? Hi. extended clips that like us like walking out of the church with the rice and stuff yeah. longer bits that were like a little bit in the video and then the rest of it yeah it was a good day wasn't it <laughs> it's good to be home it's good to be home. and this vlog is going up it is three-parter we are getting ready for florida and that's pretty much our exit excitement level is going to just continue to rise and rise and rise. <laughs> we know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>